how long should you continue your accelerated self-healing process? The best answer is, ideally, you want to continue as long as you can. The last one left standing saying, I'm healing myself, wins the longevity race. And we know from longevity research that the longer you live, the healthier, healthier you will tend to be throughout your life, the less years you'll have of suffering. So when, when, we, when we're diseased, when we're not well, when we're not getting well, we're going downhill and we're suffering for more years and we're also dying earlier. If we can reverse that process, reverse aging, the causes of aging, of, of, of uh, oxidation of our tissues and deposition of sugars on our body tissues, and, and closing up of our blood vessels and all these changes that we associate with aging but aren't, they can't logically be attributed to age as a cause. That's like saying time causes, it's, it, which is equivalent in, in, uh, you know, in Einstein's view of, of the cosmos, that's like saying space causes. Well, causality, the concept of causality is, is more specific than that. There is a cause. And that's why we can, we can reverse what we call aging. We can't make the Earth go the opposite direction around the sun. And even if we could, that wouldn't make us healthier. The point is that there's specific causes. We need to identify those. And the beauty is that your body is already doing that. All we need to do is to develop the systems to be more sensitive to what your body already is doing and already knows and, and look at how it, its response patterns relate to all the potential remedies, which in our, our view, we should look first at the natural world, at the, the, the material substances like minerals and vitamins, the, the plants, enzymes, etc., that have existed for hundreds of millions of years, however long our genetics have been developing, uh, that's what they've been exposed to. Anything that's new and synthetic and patented is essentially something that our body is not possibly theoretically adapted to. So, you know, maybe we could hit on some new synthetic chemical that happens to be non-toxic and woohoo, you know, nature never thought of this before, but probably not. Most times nature has the answer.